students now uh, we shall move on to construct the curves the introduction part we have seen in the last session uh, inter the construction is uh, uh, can can be done in different ways as mentioned in the syllabus we have two methods one method is eccentricity method for parabola and hyperbola and uh, concentric circle method for uh, constructing the uh, ellipse so we will uh, see the ellipse construction using eccentricity method first because uh, if you if you are comfortable with the construction of ellipse using eccentricity method you can extend that to other two curves known as parabola as well as hyperbola later on uh, we shall move to construct the ellipse using concentric circle method in another session so this is uh, the syllabus just uh, to re revisit the syllabus geometric construction we have completed and introduction to engineering curves uh, we have seen uh, con uh, conics construction of parabola and hyperbola by eccentricity method so this is what uh, given in the syllabus uh, only parabola as well as hyperbola uh, should be drawn using eccentricity method uh, but to understand parabola construction and hyperbola construction using eccentricity method we will see first how to construct ellipse using eccentricity method later on uh, we will move on to uh, construct parabola hyperbola using eccentricity method as well as the ellipse using concentric circle method so that uh, we will discuss at the end of the eccentricity method so ellipse by concentric circle method so this is uh, given in the syllabus we will see that and uh, cycloid in a straight line annulate uh, of square pentagonal circle uh, these, these are the content and uh, to all these cows we have to draw the tangents as well as normals so we will see the construction of an ellipse using the eccentricity method so all of you know how what is uh, an eccentricity how that can be calculated and what is the importance of eccentricity from last session so this is the problem st statement given here you can see to construct an ellipse when the distance of the focus from the directrix is given that is equal to 50 mm and the eccentricity is 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 ratio is given eccentricity directly it is given so here to take the ratio right by having the ratio value we can decide which curve we are going to draw here right so even though it is clearly mentioned in ellipse by here also we can decide we can uh, uh, we, we can uh, uh, go with the cow so 2 by 3 it is obviously lesser than 1 now from eccentricity concept 2 by 3 is lesser than 1 it uh, comes around uh, 0 0.66 uh, something so it is obviously lesser than 1 so the cow obtained here is a closed cow known as an ellipse so let us construct the ellipse using eccentricity method in uh, next session we will see one more uh, construction of parabola as well as uh, hyperbola so same the method is same even though the ratio may vary the uh, method remains same to construct your uh, parabola as well as hyperbola first draw a line always start from left hand side extreme so that you will have space on right hand side to draw the ellipse or curve so it is a infinite line right any length you can take and you can draw a, a, a thin line curve it is a thin line curve only and uh, you can notate it as a b any notations you can use it is obviously uh, the directrix and mark a point on a b line somewhere from there you draw a 90 degree line to the directrix that can be called as axis line so it is it is also an infinite line and no need to uh, write axis directrix like this in the exam and you can just uh, draw as usual all these lines should be thin lines no line now you are supposed to draw thick line so given uh, distance the fixed point distance from directrix is 50 mm 
dimensioning also you can do later students uh, you, suppose if your cow comes here the there will be a overlap of dimension with the cow so that can be avoided uh, by doing this dimensioning at the end of your problem so that will be good practice at 50 mm draw a line and mark a point on the axis and name it as fixed point or focus f letter so now you have obtained f and c you have completed directrix and you have completed axis so please uh, remember this method same procedure you have to follow to construct your parabola as well as your hyperbola same method only difference is ellipse is a closed curve whereas uh, your parabola and hyperbola will be open curves so there is only difference and the ratio ratio for parabola it is exactly at middle for hyperbola it comes in between middle and point c somewhere here so that way you can remember uh, which curve you get suppose exactly at middle it is uh, uh, without any thinking you can say it is a parabola if it is lesser than 1 then it is it is a uh, ellipse if it is greater than 1 somewhere here it will be your uh, hyperbola so uh, by this way also you can uh, decide or uh, we can uh, conclude which curve you have to draw so this is uh, the basics basics of eccentricity so now from f point f just draw an arc or uh, from f and c between f and c you have five parts and uh, here it is direct directly given eccentricity ratio is it is 2 by 3 and uh, 2 by 3 is uh, the distance between the vertex to f is two parts and vertex to c three parts so you can uh, club together and you can uh, add 2 plus 3 it comes 5 so you can divide this distance from c to f into five equal parts so it is easy to divide 50 mm into five parts uh, 10 10 mm will be your each division so divide this into five equal parts now it is 2 this numerator always you have to measure from focus and mark vertex at the second division from focus so this is your vertex now with this vertex whatever distance you have here draw a straight line and rotate here you will get the guideline right to draw the guideline from c you will get this point so this point is the uh, is the point through which you are going to draw the guideline so this can be named as any letter with any uh, letter a b c and uh, it is given as e here and uh, you can draw the guideline so on one side if you draw that will be sufficient no need to draw on the other side you can save time like this so now from here from vertex on this axis line to your convenient distance it can be any distance right uh, uh, it is even it can be uh, variable distance also it need not to be constant distance so here i have taken 10 mm each so i have divided this into some parts you can take any distance yeah. convenient distance no 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 worries and from 1 right so this is the point and this vertical line meets the axis so i have notated it as 1 and this point which touches this guideline as 1 dash now this is the distance with compass or divider you measure this distance and on the same line on the same line f as center f as center draw the arc draw the arc so that is the procedure to get p1 p1 now this is the uh, second line i have taken through point 2 even you can draw you can take another point here it is obviously uh, will touch here because f is the center and i am measuring from f2 this point the same distance so this point itself is the is your uh, p uh, some p2 or some number right it is uh, the point you require and uh, i have taken this as 2 so uh, no need to mark here directly i have taken here 
it is your wish you can mark also no problem this as p2 and but i have taken this as 2 i am going to get p2 somewhere on this line so now repeat the same procedure measure 2 2 dash distance and f as center mark on this 2 2 dash line so like this so i have taken this distance and i have marked on other side also right so this is p uh, 1 dash now this is p2 and on the other side p2 dash same procedure you repeat uh, to get the p3 from 3 to 3 dash measure this distance now f as center focus as center draw the arc draw the arc draw the arc on the other side also you can repeat with the same distance because you have already set the compass to the distance you can complete on other side also so this is your p3 dash so if you repeat the same procedure for infinite points at somewhere your curve so at somewhere you are going to cut the arc somewhere here on the axis itself so that is your last point that is your last point obviously that is your vertex on the right hand side vertex on the right hand side and complete the curve using uh, either free hand or it is better to uh, draw the curve using french curves if you draw using french curves you will get very fine curve and you will get uh, you, you will be you will be getting full marks you will be awarded full marks so that will be very good practice and if you join the same procedure you have to continue right i have not drawn here but you have to continue till it touches the axis it touches the axis because it is ellipse it is 2 by 3 ratio is lesser than 1 definitely it is a closed curve it will go and touch the axis line at some point right so repeat the same procedure to get these points whatever procedure we have followed here you follow for different points on this line and you will get somewhere here the last point you you will get the vertex on the other side and now whatever distance you have vertex to focus you measure this and mark here uh, f dash and vertex dash and another directrix a dash b dash so it will be the mirror image of left hand side you will get the mirror image and to complete this problem we have to draw the tangent and normal also so let me let me take this point so this is the point right uh, for which i wanted to draw the tangent as well as normal so the procedure remains same for all parabola hyperbola also so for all uh, eccentricity method problems same method you have to follow so this is the point i have taken randomly you can take anywhere you want so from this point you join f from this point you join f with the thin line with the thin line so to this line you take a 90 degree line so that should touch this directrix line draw a line from focus to in, uh, till it touches the directrix line at 90 degrees to the fp line to fp line at 90 degrees so the angle between these two lines is 90 degrees now draw the line till it touches the a b directrix line so now this is the perpendicular line to this line so as simple as that once you complete so this is 90 degrees once you draw this from this point right touching p you draw a line you will get the tangent first so this is obviously a thick line so this is the tangent draw a line from this point touching through p and extend it further that line becomes your tangent so this is the tangent and to this line set your drafter to 90 degrees and draw a perpendicular line that will become the normal that will become the normal so this is the normal m and n so mn is your normal and tt is your tangent so we have drawn tangent and normal also in some problems they will mention the point position with respect to directrix and you have to mark that point exactly 
and to that point you have to repeat the procedure in order to get the tangent as well as normal so that is the procedure and uh, remember the procedure after completion of the curve now you can do dimensioning and uh, other uh, other formalities and make sure that all the lines are drawn with th thin lines only 2h pencil only now the thick lines the thick line is the object line object line here is the ellipse only ellipse should be thick line as well as tangent normal tangent and normal is also thick lines thick straight lines ellipse is thick curve so please maintain this procedure and also maintain the thickness and uh, thickness of the lines uh, wherever uh, uh, you require uh, with appropriate thickness if you do that you are supposed to get full marks in these problems so this is the procedure to construct an ellipse in uh, next session we will construct the parabola and then hyperbola also we stop here